Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to go over how to make a drawing sheet here in Onshape, right? You have a completed part drawing, and now you need to put it on a drawing sheet so you can add dimensions and all that fun stuff, right? So, if you actually go over here where your part is, you can right click and create drawing of the part, or you can do a drawing down here. But an advantage of doing it from here is you can already set your four views. So I actually have a custom template here for a drawing sheet. I have a video show you how to do that. Uh, but I'm going to choose my custom template here and I'm going to choose four views and it's going to be our standard four views, our front, our top, our right side and our ISO view uh, laid out already on the sheet. We get to pick our scale and dimensions and all that as well. Uh, so like, for instance, this looks a little small on the sheet for me. I might want it a little bigger. So how do I change things like that? But you can see down here my custom sheet, but right click sheet properties. We're still a, but here's scale for it right here. And if I go up a little bit, let's see what one to two looks like. Yeah, I think I can fit all my dimensions in here. So I'll do one to two scale, which also will update down there. A size sheet, check mark. Now from here, I'm gonna wanna add uh, some standard things to each view as well. Like I need hidden lines on these views and I like to add shaded view uh, to my ISO view. The colors and stuff that you'll see, again, I did that by adding uh, a custom template, but I right click on my views down here. I'm gonna do show hidden lines, right click, show hidden lines, right click, show hidden lines. There are no hidden lines in this view, but hidden lines here I have set to orange, and then up top here, show hide uh, shaded view. And I think because of the part color that I chose here, it is orange over there. And remember any changes you make in the actual uh, part studio here, it'll show up in the drawing sheet as long as you hit this refresh button. So if you make a change, uh, you gotta hit refresh. So if I go over here, right click, for instance, edit appearance, and I make this guy dark green, I come over here, you'll see a refresh hit that refresh and it'll show any changes that you made in uh, the part studio that actually will show up in the uh, drawing sheet. All right, so now from here, we need to add some other things, like I need center lines uh, through all holes. So there's a bunch of different options for center lines. I like the edge to edge one, just kind of makes it simple. We click on one of the hidden lines and it knows to make a center line across the center mark for the circle it actually does automatically for you, which is great. And now we're up to the final step in my mind, other than updating your title block area, and then be dimensioning it, right? So I have a whole page here on how to dimension a drawing, some rules and stuff uh, that you should follow when dimensioning. I'm not gonna go over all of this right now, but uh, do know that you're gonna wanna follow some standard rules. And here's some basic ones. Uh, for when you're dimensioning, you want to do things, you know, correctly so that someone else looks at your drawing sheet, they know what they're looking at. But the dimension button's right here, and you can start pulling dimensions uh, for your drawing. Depending on the angle you pull things, right, uh, will uh, populate it in that way. For instance, that doesn't look like it fits there too well. If I turn off the dimension, you can start moving things after the fact. Right, that looks much cleaner and better there. I don't need to dimension that there because I dimensioned it down here. Uh, this was I did with a hole, right? So up up here is the hole callout button. Click on that, and it actually shows. It does the whole thing. So maybe you did a counterboard countersink. It'll do that for you, and lay that out in that manner as well. I'm gonna pull this down instead because I want to pull this dimension up here. Center it. Overall dimension, we can do here to here. Center it, that looks bad like that, so I'm gonna move it. Mm -hmm. Right, making things look clean and neat. I even could pull this dimension over there as well. It's important, but I have the six, I have the four, I have this length here. I have pretty much all the dimensions other than placing the circle. Um, when dimensioning to center lines, make sure you click on the ends. So I'm, I'm gonna end up moving that six in a second. And then uh, this one, right? Down here like that. Hit escape to get out. Pull this up a touch. 
And now I technically, I think I have all the dimensions required for this. Uh, you'll see I have a lot of uh, decimals. That's what I meant to say. We can change all that over here in the properties here. Inches, I can change this inches fractional, for instance. And that looks a little better to me. Colors, everything good. And then go down here and update uh, your drawing sheet. Once you have this all set, and the layout and the manner that you'd like it to be, you can just go ahead and print it or right click down here, export it as you know a PDF for someone, for instance, a bunch of different ways, but pretty simple. Make your drawing sheet, have your views, uh, front, right side, top, isometric. Uh, if you wanna switch the views, obviously it is uh, inserting. You can change the views that you're inserting down here. Uh, once you insert a view, you actually project a view, for instance. So let's say I uh, want this view. I hit projected here and I move my mouse this way. I'm actually getting the back view here. That's why I'm getting hidden lines and things like that. That's all projected. That is for auxiliary views at an angle. Uh, section views and going down the line, all your different types of dimensioning. Here's your uh, ordinate dimensioning. There's your whole thread callout, datum dimensioning. Here's your G and T. Uh, weld stuff. Here's for a note, for instance, for any uh, consistent features you may want to say, like all fillets and rounds or something like that. Uh, boom tables and all these more advanced things for maybe assembly drawings and things like that. But it's all there for you. Um, that's pretty much it. Very simple, quick and easy. And that's all. Good luck. Have fun.